this. So you've just wrapped up your ketamine session. How do you feel? Uh, like always, I feel slightly groggy, but at the same time, I, I feel incredibly um, positive. Just an overwhelming sense of well-being and of open-mindedness is how I feel right now. So like lots of lots of interesting thoughts flowing through my brain and fluttering about. But, uh, and now is the opportunity to kind of try to make sense of it all. But I, I just, I always come out of these sessions feeling incredibly optimistic about tomorrow and the day after. Mm -hmm. And does that uh, terribly optimistic feeling last at all? Or does it fade? Or like, what do you do with that optimism? There's two things you like. One is you have to actively work on it. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm glad you so said that. So the maintenance is important. It, yes. doesn't, it doesn't last forever, uh, especially if you're not actively working on it and thinking about it. So um, like I was saying earlier, like writing down what I perceive to be the lessons from this session. Um, and then kind of looking back on those things and thinking about those things is important. Um, it does eventually fade. It does. You know, the feeling as powerful as it is right now it will slowly but surely fade, even if I work on it. So for me coming back every so often for um, a little um, kick in the butt, Right. Moment. Right. I think it's incredibly <laughs> important. And that's certainly part of my um, routine. And mm -hmm. I, I think it's a great one. Uh, but yeah, you got to work on it or else. I'm so glad you said that because, you know, there's a lot of people that have this mistaken impression that all you need is the medicine. And you don't really need the therapy. What do, you, what do you think about that, that the medicine is what's doing the work? What do you think about that? Um, I think the medicine is certainly a powerful tool for mm -hmm. opening the mind up to considering and examining things that it hadn't previously. Uh, but without, well, I, I, can't, I can't speak for a person who has just done the medicine but I don't know what you get out of it if you aren't able to have the conversation uh, to be comforted, to be um, inspired, to be led down a particular path, to be to pause and take note of a particular thing that was said or of a particular feeling you might have had. I mean, these are all these are all things that help turn the session into something that feels like a intent, sorry, a like intentional um, exploration of yourself. Right. And I think that's what it, it, I, I think you, I think you need to understand how to take something out of this. If right. you're going to take something out of this. Right. I think you have just described the integration process. You know, I, I do recall you said to me one day in the summer that you had friends that had did uh, that have did uh, that did the IV ketamine mm -hmm. and that they were not uh, thriving. So um, yes, a testament to the importance of uh, integration and yeah. daily self care. Right, I, you have to invest in yourself. I frankly think those people were sold a bill of goods, oh. and, I, and it and. It, and you know, the idea that a singular moment can fix your future is bullshit. Yeah, it's medical. Yeah. I, I mean, it's just not real. You know, no, so you need to, you need to you digest need to it. You, you need to digest to, and then it and needs work to be work. It. it needs to be practice. Yes, you need to. And that's uh, really what helps with the plasticity. We need to capitalize on the plasticity. That won't happen by itself. You need to rehearse. You need to practice and do. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time. No problem. Thank you. Thank you.